Hello and welcome to uh, episode 4 in our series of tutorials for Excel beginners. In this tutorial what I'm going to do is show you how to create the functions uh, that you can see listed here. Average, max or maximum, min or minimum and count. Um, these are some of the more common functions but I'm going to show you how to create each of these calculations in two ways. The first is how to create it manually, simply type it in longhand if you like. And the other way is to uh, use the paste function feature of Excel which guides you through creating the uh, the calculation. So we'll begin with average and I'll just create the calculation manually. Now as you know with every calculation in Excel we start by pressing the equals key on the keyboard and that tells Excel straight away that whatever follows is going to be part of a calculation. And what we type in is the word average as you might expect, so you type the whole word out then we put the formula between brackets or parentheses and open the bracket there and then what I'm going to do is actually select the range of numbers that I want to be averaged by just clicking and dragging down the list like that. Once I'm happy with the selection close the bracket and I'll click on the little green tick up there and that accepts the result, which you can see there, 1.966667, which I have no idea if that's correct or not, but I'll trust Excel. Okay, well that's the first one, it's fairly straightforward. In the next column, the rentals column, I'm going to do the same calculation, but this time I'll use the paste function feature of Excel to create the, the calculation. Now what I need to do here is obviously select the cell where I want the result to appear, go up to the standard toolbar, and click on the FX button there, which is your paste function button. And that opens the paste function dialog. And I need to find average. Now, you will almost certainly find it in the most recently used category. Um, but if you don't, you'll actually find it listed in the statistical um, choices. And click on statistical in the function category. And on the right hand side, you'll find average. And as you can see, there's an awful lot of other functions in there but we won't get into all those just yet so once you've selected average click OK we get the paste function dialog we can move this around the screen so if you want to move it so you can see the numbers that you're dealing with more clearly you can just move it one side or the other um, it always appears docked near the top of the screen so you just click in any of the grey areas and drag it out of the way if you want to I do that just because it's uh, I find it more convenient to see the numbers I'm dealing with and what I want to do here is select the numbers in the rentals column. So here in the box it's asking for the range. And all I do is make sure that box is highlighted and click and drag down the range. As I do that you'll see the paste function box update automatically. As soon as I release the mouse button the selection goes in there. It gives me the option of a second range which I don't want on this occasion so all I need to do here is simply click OK. And the result goes into that box. So I'll just very quickly, I'll use the paste function feature one more time just to create this income average. So click the cell I want the result to appear in, paste function, statistical is already highlighted, click average, OK. And this time instead of moving the box out of the way I'll simply click this little button here, which what it does it reduces the paste function dialog so I can see the sheet, select the range, once I'm happy click that same button again, opens the dialog, and then it allows me to see an example of the result, confirm that I'm happy with that, click OK, and there's the result of the calculation. OK, we'll go on and do the other functions in this list now. So max is the next one, max for maximum. So I'll click the cell where I want the result to appear. Again, I'll type in the formula manually initially. So we'll click equals max. And between brackets or parentheses, again, we're going to select the range of numbers for rental price close that bracket and if I just click on the tick you'll see it will pick out the highest value in that range of numbers which is 2.5 or £2.50 and again in the next column, the rentals column, I'll use the paste function feature again so click on the paste function button there we get the range of functions come up again it is a statistical function and so I need to scroll down that list, go down and find the M's I will find max there, there's max, click on max, click OK we get the paste function dialog, click on that little reduction button which allows me to see the spreadsheet, select the range of numbers 
click the reduce button again that resizes the dialog I'm happy with that so I just simply click OK and there's the result and this time I will cheat and simply copy that formula across into column D and there we go that works and again because of the relative cell referencing as you copy formulas from one column to the other or from one row to the next Excel automatically updates the column or row number depending on which way you move the formula so I've copied from C to D so what Excel has done is changed the cell references from C3 to C8 and as I copied it to column D it changes them to D3 to D8 so it, it's, um, it's clever enough to know to update the formula as I copy across okay we'll go on and do the minimum or min function now again I'll just do the manual version equals min between parentheses select the range of numbers that I want to include close that bracket and there we go and I'll simply complete these by simply copying across and you'll see it pops the result in automatically again it uses this relative cell referencing to update each column as I copy across and finally count which counts the number of items in a selected range open the bracket there again so select that range of numbers there close the bracket click that tick so there are, there are six items in the list which I, we could manually count those but it's more useful in a bigger list is count however it's just there to, for illustrative purposes and again I'll just use the paste function feature for, for the entry in column C rentals so we click the paste function button again we get the dialog again these are all statistical calculations so count will be in this list so just scroll down and there we have count click OK get the dialog again which you can move out the way if you want to uh, so I can select my range of numbers like so happy with that click OK and again just finally simply copy the formula across so there we are so what I have now is I have all the calculations that I want in my spreadsheet so I'm going to save that again and saving overwrites the previous version if I wanted to save another version I could go to file and choose save as and that will allow me to create a, a, another file with a different name or as you know I can simply press the F12 key on the keyboard and that brings up the save as dialog box however in this case I'm simply overwriting the previous file so that's now up to date that's saved um, so that will end this tutorial thank you very much for watching I hope you found that useful in the next tutorial number five we'll go on and start to look at formatting the spreadsheet to make it more presentable and uh, show you a few things that uh, you can use to brighten up your spreadsheets so see you next time